lesson, we're going to study multiplication by one-digit number with regrouping. So let's have this number, 532 times 2. So first, we are going to multiply 2 and 2. 2 times 2, that is 4. Next, 2 times 3, that is 6. And then, let's multiply the hundreds place. 2 times 5, that is, good job, it's 10. So the product is 1,064. How about if we have this? 84 times 4. Again, children, let's multiply the second factor to the ones place. 4 times 4, that is equal to what? 4, 8, 12, 16. So, 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Remember, you are allowed to write one digit at the bottom, right? So, you are going to carry over the 1 at the top of the tens place. Next, let's multiply 4 and 8. 4 times 8, let's do it together. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. So, 4 times 8 is equal to 32. And then, we're going to add 1. 1 plus 32 is equal to... Good job! That is 33. So, that means the product of 84 and 4 is 336. Let's have the next number. 78 times 3. Again, children, let's multiply the second factor to the ones place. 3 times 8, that is equal to what? Let's do it together. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So we have 24. All you need to do is to carry 2 at the top of 7. Let's multiply 3 and 7. 3 times 7... We have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. So 3 times 7 is equal to 21, then add 2. 21 plus 2, that is equal to what? Your job, that is 23. So the product of 78 and 3 is 234. How about if we have this? 713 times 5. Let's multiply 5 and 3. 5 times 3, that is equal to what? 5, 10, 15. So we have 15. Write 5 at the bottom, then carry 1 at the top of 1. And then, let's multiply 5 to the tens place. 5 times 1, that is 5, plus 1 is equal to? Good job, that is 6. And then, let's have the hundreds, please. 5 times 7. Let's do it together. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So, we have 35. So, the product of 713 and 5 is 3,565. How about if we have this? 282 times 4. Let's multiply 4 and 2. 4 times 2, we have 4, 8. So we have 8 here. And then, let's have 4 and 8. 4 times 8, let's count it together. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. So we have 32 here. So let's write 2 at the bottom, then carry 3 at the top of 2. Then let's multiply the hundreds, please. 4 times 2, 4, 8. 8 plus 3, that is equal to what? Very good, that is 11. So the product of 282 and 4 is 1,128. So now, children, it's your turn. Get a piece of paper or if you have drill board, you may use it. Let's have the first one. 46 times 2. What do you think is the product? So let's have this. 
2 times 6 that is equal to what? Very good. That is 12. So we will write 2 at the bottom then carry 1 at the top of 4. And then 2 times 4 that is equal to what? Good job. That is 8. Plus 1 is equal to... Very good. That's 9. So the product of 46 and 2 is 92. How about if we have this one? 58 times 4. Okay, let's solve it together. 4 times 8. Let's keep count by 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. So we have 32, right? 2 at the bottom, carry 3 at the top of 5. And then let's multiply the tens, please. 4 times 5. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Plus 3. That is, good job children, that is 23. So we have 232. How about if you have this? 461 times 5. Okay, let's solve it together. 5 times 1, that is... Very good, it's 5. How about 5 times 6? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We have 30. So write 0 at the bottom, then carry 3 at the top of 4. And then 5 times 4. 5, 10, 15, 20 plus 3. Good job! That's 23! So the product of 461 and 5 is 2,305. How about if we have this 129 times 3? Okay, let's count. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. So we have 27. Write 7 at the bottom, then carry 2 at the top of 2. Let's multiply the tens, please. 3 times 2, 3, 6. So 6 plus 2, that is... Good job, it's 8. And then, let's have the hundreds, please. 3 times 1, that is fantastic! It's 3. So the product of 129 and 3 is 387.